boxes. Who puts a box at the bottom of the stairs like this? Seriously. So disorganized. I guess your mom? Uh, Seth, I'm glad you recovered. You didn't seem quite well, though. Are you sure you're okay? No, Maganray? Magan? Maganray? Maganray. I have no idea. I won't be okay until I've set my friends free. Uh, I know how you feel, my dear. I must find a way to let them out. Our spies confirmed that the prisoners have arrived at the destination at least. Or at last. Yes, they moved them immediately once the train arrived at the station. They didn't stop for even a second. Is there a way to sneak inside the prison of Boru? Are the Holy Knights really so fearsome? Yellington, do you have any idea of how they are equipped? Well, as everybody knows, the Knights can count on the direction of memory. And they are authorized to use atlas just like my members. Their feelings can't be compared to that of Antler, but they still don't have a time for Sneaking to the Borgul is madness, Seth. I won't let you go. And what about Plan B? Has Kip Sayano got anything? Plan B is by safer than your plan, Seth. Sayano, have you made progress with the recording? To make characters. Dots. Okay, Black Mage. Mm. What do you say? Oh, great. What were you waiting for? Uh, for? I guess they're one of those characters that only certain people can hear. The decryption software is elaborating the data right now. The film will be ready in a few hours. But that's amazing. We won't need any stealth action with that film. Um, what's the plan B again? How can you not remember that? I told you about it five times or more! When I helped Seth and Grant escape Mistia seven months ago, I recorded everything before getting inside the Emperor's room! But alas, my camera broke for me right away, and that corrupted all the data! That film is the proof of our innocence. How convenient. If we could really see it... We could show it to the authorities and hear your name. Slain has been working on this since you escaped Mystia, and he has done a great job! It's a pity that our dear Farian used the camera of the early 2000s. If he'd used the newer one, we could have done different copies, just to be sure. Hey, hey! Without my help, there would be no damn film, okay? You should say thank you, Virion. You are the best instead. Damn, hipster. You and your obsolete technology. Well, a single tape will be more than enough. We should head to Borgum, then. There we can let the knights see what really happened seven months ago. Assuming they don't just arrest us on the spot. Finally, we can take a break. Hey, Mom, I came here for another reason. What is it, Elevit? I wanted to see Doc. I've been taking care of how to tell us. You know you can trust me, right? Yes, I know. You ain't as good as me, but I can still trust you, yeah. But are you sure that he's comfortable with an ugly barzan like you and not this splendid girl like myself? I'm fine, Elvit, said Doc. I don't know who it is. It's Neon! He's back! He didn't die, guys. See? Didn't die on screen, not dead. I still can't move it properly yet, but I feel fine. Those no, Dutch holders can move without any issue, I think. We'll fix the rest of the arm by the end of the week. And just hand it with care, yeah? It took me months to build the whole arm system. You shouldn't worry. Yell is doing a great job. Yes, if everything goes as planned, then yeah, we'll be able to move his arm until the railway stops. Thank you for. Uh, Thank you for everything you're doing for me. I mean it. Once the arm starts working, I won't be a burden anymore and I'll leave. Are you in a hurry? You can stay with us for as long as you wish. No, I must go back. Go back? Where? I have no place to go back. My home is destroyed and my lab's too. My wife, my unborn son, my dad and all my colleagues are dead. And my best friend is a scarlet worm. Neon. When I'll be self-sufficient again, I'll chase those worms down. And when I've found them, I'll make them pay. You are not alone, Neon. We Mavericks have some scorns to settle with the Scarlet Worms, remember? Thanks for the support. But you have more urgent priorities now. Innocent people have been unjustly imprisoned, and we have the proof of their innocence. We'll come back here when the film's ready. Come back in a couple of hours. Meanwhile, you should restock your supplies for the next journey. Good idea. See you later, Magan Ray.
I knew it. I so called it. Fine. I just wanted to make sure that the prisoners would be brought to their destination. You had any doubts, General Hume? Of course not, Commander Morris. In any case, after what happened on the train, we can't let our guard down. Those damned mavericks are a pain in the Empire's neck. And it seems that Seth is one of them now. He dyed his hair and modified his van armor. A curious expedient, but totally useless. I'll be on my way. I'll go back to Rael immediately. Valiant! Marsha, it's good to see you. Miss Chesterfield, were you looking for me? I just wanted to say goodbye before your departure. Thank you. I have got some business to attend to. Marsha, would you mind escorting the general to the exit? Have a good trip, and please send Lord Meister my regards. It will be done. See you soon, Commander. Well, Valiant, we weren't able to speak on the train. Indeed, it's a pity. The things that happened last month. Is everything true? It must have been hard for you to hear the news. I'm sorry. I just can't believe it. Did Seth actually kill Mavazoa and attack Latimus? They were friends. I... Marsha, I know how you feel. Our entire division is still shocked. Seth would have become Rael's new Magna fan. After two years of absence, he came back and after a short period of depression, he seemed to have found his former self. But at some point... Hmm. Now Seth is a maverick, an outlaw, here in Reagan. He assaulted the Aura train, pleading his innocence. He wanted to free the prisoners at all costs. I left only two years ago. Two years, Valiant? Is it possible for a person to change so much in two years? Are you sure that there's nothing behind all this? Marsha. I don't know what to say. Seth is a murderer. He's an enemy of both of our empires, like it or not. Marsha. Mm. Be very careful. Keep your eyes wide open. What do you mean? The people who you trust the most might disappoint you. And I'm not talking about Seth. Keep an eye on the man that gives you orders, Marsha. Trust me. See you. Hmm. So much distrust. Let's prepare for our journey. When we're ready, we can talk to Mag Magnery. Is there anything you really need to do? I guess I can, like, stock up on some supplies. Oh, it, this is back here, yeah. Well, I've already explored the whole dang base. Uh, I guess I'll hit up the... Um, you know what, we'll hit up the save point before we do anything else. How about that? Alright. Whoa, 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 hold, hold up a second. Did I just say that Elvit was a guest? Yeah, she's, or she and Grant are both guests. How strange. You'd think we would all be, like, firmly on the same team at this point, but whatever. Game decides what it decides. Let's buy items. Uh... I kinda wanna just restock after that big skirmish before. Ugh. We used up a lot of these. Yay! Uh, hmm. That's outside of battle. They're so inexpensive, though. I mean, you can't only use this outside of battle, right? I guess even if you couldn't, it's not bad to have something so inexpensive. It's like, they cost five times less than these, and they do uh, a third of as much, so it's like, they're a better deal overall. I'll grab 50 of them. You know what, can I just grab the, the stock limit? Yeah, there we go. Stock limit on those guys. They're so inexpensive. I don't think we need bombs. I didn't throw any bombs with Elvit before. We should, we should try that sometime. Alright, well that's it for those. What else do you got in here, man? What's this Atlas shop nonsense? Oh yeah, these things. I don't have any of these. Lead seal crisis resistance? Oh, more like status resistance. Lark Seed, Mastering Resistance, Fury, Shuffles, and Lot. Now, what makes me curious is, if you have these resistance items, and you give them to characters whose abilities inflict negative statuses on them, 
will they become immune to those statuses so they can like use those abilities without inflicting them on themselves. That could be something I'd have to test. This game also hasn't been difficult enough for me to like worry about testing strategies or anything. I feel like it's just a layer of depth that's either reserved for hard mode or just totally irrelevant. Let's sell some junk, and I'm sure we got some things I can sell. Like a lot of things. I'm just gonna scroll the bottom here. I think something's only worth money. Yeah, see, this can only be sold for 100 clean it. Eh, whoops, I didn't mean to sell one. I'm gonna sell all of them. There we go. Can we use upgrade weapons? Uh, we can sell these. Upgrade weapons, upgrade weapons, upgrade weapons. Uh. I kinda just wanna hang on to these for now. Uh. One of the 99 Gaia shards. Oh, okay. And though it's 21 of the 99 Gaia shards, thank you. Yeah, I guess we're only a fifth of the way there. Jeez. Dance for revenge. Sell it. <laughs> Maybe don't sell it. Uh, let's get some armor. Dump, um. Oh, there's our red, red plushie. Oh, we can equip it and it has, like, stats and stuff. We should totally equip that. Hold on, I'm gonna, well, I'm thinking about it. I don't know. Seth. We need to, we need to equip the red, red plushie. You're not wearing anything right now, my dude. Put on that Ruger plushie, never forget. Actually, you don't really need it with your resistance that high. How did your resistance get so high in the first place? Jesus. Hmm. 104. Looks like if anyone could use the resistance experience. Uh. Ah. Okay, fine. Oh, it looks like he can't equip it anyway. Hmm, it must be like a Seth only thing. Which would make sense, because why would a Ruger Flush mean anything to anyone else? It wouldn't, that's why. Alright, you take your Ruger Plushie. Uh, I, I, I want to take these things off the people that have them so I can, like, make conscious decisions about the items they have. You, uh... You don't really need Spirit for anything, do you? I don't remember what I gave you the turn for. Is there anything I want you to have? We can get you more resistance on certain things. Dex don't. You don't really need the Dex. I mean, you know, that's not a bad trade. Let's see. <laughs> that's not a bad trade. Is that what I already had you in? I don't remember. No, I had you wearing, like, the, the safety helmet or something. Uh, nah, you don't need those. Uh, 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 uh. You're kind of squishy, so I'm thinking more res is good for you. And it looks like that's the most res you can get without, like, another drop in something else. Like, this is two more points of res for those drops, and this is not worth it. How about you, Elvit? Uh... You're not very strong, but it's, you're more spirit-oriented, so maybe we should just, like, focus on that. Let's get you some spur. Get you more spur. All the spur you can handle, this we're gonna give you. Mm. Ooh, the bars and skull. The bars and skull gives her all that spur. So much spur. But it is kind of nice having her be super fast, because, like, she does function as a healer best. Hmm. Uh, you know, this was probably the best balance of her stats, these safety clothes right here. Yeah. Like, there are some things that would make her a little faster. Oh, she doesn't... Mm. I guess this is actually better. She doesn't need the strength. That was what she had all along, wasn't it? I just did nothing. I accomplished nothing. Good. Uh, what about you? What about you? You're super fast. You you can, like... You can afford to lose some speed and gain some other stuff. Your res is not super high. Uh, you're like a... You're like... You're pretty good. That's not speed, too. Mm -hmm. I don't even remember if you have any moves that you need spirit for. Me. Yeah, you, you don't need anything else but that. Let's see, what else can you pad out your stats with? 
Hmm. So we can we can boost her speed with one of these things if we really want. It would be kind of nice to have her with more resistance. Yeah. Seth, on the other hand, his spirit's really lacking. Hmm. This one would help. We don't use his spirit very much, but we use it sometimes, don't we? I can't really. I don't really know if his like lightning sword attack is um, spirit or strength. Maybe he doesn't need spirit. Would be kind of nice to have you pick up the pace. You're the slowest person on the team right now, if I recall. You, um, you know, take the attack boost, man. You're good on speed. Oh, we're giving him more resistance. You're so flimsy. You're such a flimsy guy. We're as flimsy as her, though. Come on. She's at 80. Sorry. Right. Take the is off. 87 74. So if we give you the better than one, you're at 94. And... Okay, yeah. See, we balanced it. We're good. It's great. Everything's great. We're leaving. <laughs> Save all that nonsense we just did. Mom, we're ready to leave. My film's ready, Seth. Fine, let's see if it runs. I should have talked to Neil. The Empire is about to be reborn, Father. The new energy source will feed our machines and our people. This is the love of Zoan Renaissance. And you. You are not worthy to lead this proud new people. Let us, let us make this trade a bit more believable in the whole. There's no video, but there's total audio. It's good. What? Guards! Ugh, n no. Help, guards! Prince. Camera footage. It works just fine. That wasn't easy for Sayana to do, but it was definitely worth it. He did a great job. Thank him to her. It? For me? Well, say thanks to Sayano for me, okay? No problem, son. Fine. On our way. You sure? Are we sure to avoid the built-up areas? The Holy Knights are patrolling every street of Raken. I know. I think we'll go through the Avon Pass. It's the shortest way to reach Borgul, excluding the main roads. Good luck, guys. Soon I'll be able to take care of them, or take care of myself. Brace yourselves, worms. What? Barrels! Nothing. There's a pistol there, but I can't take it. We don't need it. We solve all our problems with swords. There's a room we can go down here. There's a little tiny filing cabinet. So we... Oh, it's just straight up. Cyber up. Get another. We only need one, thanks. Eh. Eh. Computer. Uh oh, I was standing on the computer a little bit there. Just kind of set my foot on it, right? Yep. I imagine now we go to the surface. Yeah, I'm gonna save again. I think I want to see all these cutscenes over one more time. If something goes horribly wrong. And we somehow die. I don't. Ain't nobody want that. Because I don't cut footage. You know it. You get to endure every bit of this game that I have to see. Uh, we're probably not hurt. Huh? No, we're fine. I forgot how to get to the surface. <laughs> wait, wait. No, I can do this. I can do this. It was... The elevator was over here. That's right. Elevator. Evelator. Take us there! Beepity boop! Woo! Okay!